It is great to see you here. My name is Luc de Custer. I will be presenting to you some new videos offered to you by the Custer Academy. Here we are going to look at the time value of money. Time value is very important because we have to understand what's happening with our investment. And whether we are doing projects or we are evaluating new ventures, we have to understand what is happening with our investment. And in this first video, I will look at the investments and what your future cash flows are, how they look like and what information do we have. Now, basically, when we have a project or when we invest some money into a venture, we will see that later we expect cash flows. We expect a return on what is happening. In business, it's very important to understand what is happening with our investments. And once we have an investment that is ongoing or that we are planning, we have to identify is this a good investment or not? Now, one of the things that we have to consider is, first of all, what is our initial investment? We have money that we spend, that we budget, to create a new product, to create a new service, to invest in bonds or in other items. There are different investments that are possible. And, of course, that initial investment has to be the origin of some profit. We do not want to invest without having a profit. What is happening the moment we invest? The moment we invest, we expect cash flows. We develop a new product or a new service. The moment that we present it to the public, that we do marketing, that we are selling it, we see that we get incoming cash flows. Now, in the beginning, a cash flow can be negative because we are still having too high costs compared to the revenue. But normally, if we have a good project, the cash flows will become positive and hopefully increasing. Now, they increase over a certain time, but when the product or the service re uh, reaches maturity, we see that those cash flows are diminishing. Now, the first thing that we have to look at is what do we find as items over time? Here you see a time scale. T0 is the moment we start with the investment and Tn is the end time, the end of the lifespan of the investment that we did. We have a new telephone. Well, let's assume that over five years, that new telephone is obsolete. We have to have a new telephone. So we have to see what is happening over that lifespan. Some projects may, or some ventures, may have a very long lifespan. Everything depends on the case that you are considering. At the moment, T0, I have that initial investment. It's a negative value. And for all the calculations that we are doing, the investment itself is a negative value. But what is happening, once we have that investment ongoing, we are creating cash flows. And like I said, they may be positive or negative, all depends on the actual situation. We expect or we hope that those cash flows are high enough to create a good investment. These are the things that we are evaluating during a business case. We want to know what will be the initial investment and what are the expected cash flows over time. And based on these elements, we can calculate the efficiency of our investment. The items that we are looking at at those investments, we have to consider that all those cash flows are happening in the future. T0 is the moment now, the moment that, for example, we finished our project, all the work has been completed, we invest in some other venture, we buy some stock or bonds, and that's the moment that we 
start calculating the efficiency of our investment. The future cash flows are in fact occurring later and we also know that we have what we call the time value of money. $100 today has a different value as $100 in five years. And it's very important that we want to calculate, determine what is the value of those cash flows, those future cash flows, what is that value today. And that's part of the videos that we will be talking about. It's about the time value of money. And finally, we will find financial parameters that will help us evaluate our venture. And when we look at a project, we want to evaluate how our project is doing. This is the beginning. This is the start of a series. I hope you like the topic. It's an important topic. We all need finance, not only in business, but I'm sure that many of the concepts we will be talking about will be very interesting for you too. One of the elements I will be presenting is, for example, the payment of a loan, of a mortgage. You want to buy a house? Well, these elements that you have here will help you understand what the people in the bank are telling you. And you may do the calculations faster than them. Just a little effort to understand what's happening and you will be the master of your finances. This was everything for this first video. I hope you liked this first video about finance and the time value of money. And let's meet again and bye bye.